Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. Today is Friday, and on Fridays at Lynchburg, we wear red. I'm wearing mine. Hopefully, you are today. We know a lot were given out yesterday in the cafeteria, so if you were fortunate enough to get one of those free shirts, make sure you wear it around campus today, and we'll be around taking pictures and, and videos and documenting how great it is to wear red on Fridays. All right, let's move on to our first thing, which, as we mentioned yesterday, all about season previews. We begin with Lynchburg Field Hockey coming off a disappointing loss in the ODAC Championship game last year. The good news is they have a lot of their attack back, and that opens up room to talk more about the defense and the goalie positions. Coach Enza Steele has a hardworking group, and she's excited about what this season will bring. Hardworking group, really, really hard. They, um, uh, it's like, let's go. We have more? Yes, more. Okay, let's go. And, and they push each other. I think that my biggest thing is that we're already talking to each other so much. Um, we haven't even had a game yet, and you know, not only are we communicating more in a scrimmage than I've ever seen in my past few years, but we're talking. You know, we're asking each other questions. We're saying, "Hey, on this play, be here instead." You know, and we're already making those adjustments before we've even gotten into a game-like situation. Definitely during preseason, their willingness to learn. I think our incoming first years definitely came in like wanting to know more. They didn't come in knowing already how to play Lynchburg field hockey. They know how to play field hockey, but how can I play Lynchburg field hockey? Well, I think our scoring is really solid. Uh, I know we can score against any team in the country. Uh, I think we can score a lot of goals this season. So that gives us a little more opportunity to work with our um, back defense. You know, uh, goalkeeper will have a year experience behind her, and um, defense will also have a year's experience. So, you know, right now, if we stay healthy, uh, I think we have a great nucleus, um, and I don't foresee any holes to fill from last year. We just have to stay healthy. Moving on now to Lynchburg Cross Country, who has been ranked in the region for men's at 8th position, women's at 2nd, and even the ladies coming in at 33rd in the national rankings before their first race, which happens today. We caught up with two of their seniors along with Coach Reed yesterday. Yeah, this is an issue we've talked about a lot coming into this year, especially on the women's side, just dealing with the pressure. You know, last year we did come in with a shot to win ODAX. We did come in with a shot to do really well at regionals. And, you know, we felt like we didn't prepare them enough last year to handle that pressure. This year we've been really upfront about the expectations. We've, you know, sold it as, you know, this should be a joyous moment. We should embrace the challenges. We should really push towards those things. Everybody is really like-minded in that we're all um, have the mindset of you know we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna compete and we're gonna try to be one of the top teams in the region um, and everybody I mean nobody's scared of the fact that like we're seated so highly um, I think that was an issue last year but I feel like this year we've kind of all like come together and realize that you know this is an attainable goal and this isn't something to be scared of it's just something to strive for. We know we don't really have a lot of like upperclassmen so I'm the only senior on the team but we're seeing a lot more leadership development in some of our younger guys such as like Hunter and Roy some of our sophomores so we're really trying to develop those qualities in those guys so that way we can have more of those like one-on-one um, -on -one connections with the younger guys on the team. It's been really special some of the team like Sammy She's been with me since like seventh grade, eighth grade of middle school, um, even coming through our high school program. And to see her develop and grow in that aspect and Tristan and Morgan, it, it, it's been an incredible journey to watch them grow. Biggest thing, the leadership aspect is now they do have a ton of freshmen and sophomores underneath them that are looking up to them and they know the culture, they know the dynamic, they know the expectations and they're really able to lead more by example than anything. Um, they're not vocal athletes but their model has emulated what we want and that's why we are so good today, it's just what they've created. Lynchburg women's soccer has been synonymous with the word success, winning seven of the last eight ODAC championships. And this year, heading into the 2018 season, trying to do it once again, Coach Olson says it comes down to the amount of experience these current seniors and upperclassmen have had in the past. Yeah, you know, part experience. Um, these guys have all played in some big games, and they've won some big games, and they've lost some big games. And I think anytime you have those experiences, there's, you know, it's just, it's just great 
for what they can do and what they, they know what they do, they know what they can't do. Well, preseason I think has gone really well. We came in super fit, so that actually helped a lot. So we were a lot we were able to move through things a lot quicker. We have 12 seniors, so and we've had three years to all bond super close together. And I think that definitely helps having so many returners to be able to just know how everybody plays and go right into it. We always take one game at a time, so we can't focus on the end of the season without first looking at what games we have to cross and all of our opponents. Like We have a very tough schedule this year, so a lot of hard games that we know we have to take seriously and have to play our best, but I think we're expecting our best and we know that we can bring that each game. So more of going into it with confidence and less nerves this season. Yeah, so we chose Ohana this year, and, and we had a, a few years ago we had a, a theme called Ubuntu, and it meant I am because we are. And, and this group came in right after that. And, and it's been sort of a challenge to, to create that family mix again because they had to come in and they had to sort of penetrate a team that had won a national championship and they had to try to find playing time and, and they didn't have that shared experience. So we needed, you know, so for the last couple of years we've really been working on this family thing and, and, and not leaving people behind and not forgetting people and, and, and just connecting. And, and so that's what this is about. All right, it's game day for the first time in 2018, 2019 season. We have an official game day, and there's a lot of teams in action on this Friday. Lynchburg Cross Country at Appalachian State today for the Covered Bridge Open. Also today, Lynchburg Volleyball gets underway on the road at Eastern Mennonite University starting at 3 p.m. against Salem College, and they follow that up with a 5 o'clock showdown against the Catholic University Cardinals. Then here at home, it's number 16, Lynchburg women's soccer taking on the bullets of Gettysburg College at 4 p.m. Our coverage beginning at 345 from Schellenberger Field. And men's soccer is on the road to battle Averett University, taking on the Cougars at 5 from Roanoke College in the All Sports Cafe Roanoke Invitational. Of course, that's not all we have. We have some action on Saturday to go along with that. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., volleyball gets underway battling North Carolina Wesleyan at 10 and then at 12 they will finish out the Route 42 Classic against Marymount. Later on Saturday as we mentioned Lynchburg Field Hockey gets their season started at 1 o'clock on Saturday against Lebanon Valley College. Then here at home Lynchburg Women's Soccer with the second game in two days this time against the Scots of Maryville College at 4 30 p.m coverage starting at 4:15 on LHSN and men's soccer rounds out the weekend with their second game in two days as well when they battle Oberlin College at 5 p.m. from Roanoke. All right let's move on to campus events just one for you today once the women's soccer game is over you know where you can go to grab some food the buffet bash of 2018 today from 4 30 to 7 o'clock it's brought to you by the student activities board live music free food chill city pops which is in caps so that must be cool and the chance to win a university of lynchburg chair one of those red awesome chairs you can take home with you and that begins at 4 30 in the dell that's going to do it for us on this Friday edition of the Daily Buzz. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. And just a reminder, you can follow along with your Lynchburg Hornets by downloading the One Nation app today in the App Store or in the Google Play Store as well. Uh, your number one source for everything Lynchburg Hornets in the palm of your hand. We hope you have a great weekend. Remember, it's a great day to be a Hornet, and we are One Nation.